Hi, I'm Damon Smith, Extension Field Crops Pathologist for the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Hello folks, Rodrigo Worley, Extension Weed Specialist with the University of Wisconsin-Madison. So we're out here today, we're looking at some rye that's getting actually pretty close to heading and I know folks are really interested in you know, cover crops and cover crop termination ahead of soybeans. I was wondering if you could just tell us a little about what your research has been saying about that, that strategy in terms of weed control. Absolutely, Damon. So we've been, you know, this is actually going to be our third year uh, looking at cover crops as an integrated weed management strategy. And what we've learned from our research this past couple of years, and that's also validated by researchers uh, around uh, the country, is that the more biomass you have, at the termination time, the more likely you are to get suppression of small seeded uh, weeds such as water hemp. Okay, so we're here at our water hemp site. Uh, this uh, rye, cereal rye cover crop here is looking amazing actually. It's, it's further along. We planted it in September, mm -hmm. late September last year. Uh, we planted an early maturity rye variety and it's at the boot stage as you can see here. And this is what we want to see. We want to see it, that rye getting closer to this boot stage. The CN ratio of that plant is pretty high. Uh, what we're doing here today, we're spraying it with glyphosate, uh, Roundup Paramax at a 32 uh, fluid ounce rate, the, the max rate there, the recommended rate, a full rate uh, for this. Uh, we'll watch it die for the next couple weeks and we'll see what kind of suppression we got. So, so when you're out here looking at a stand and you're trying to determine, you know, when you're going to terminate, what kind of density, you know, is sort of optimal for this type of strategy? That's a great question. And we observed a wide variety of uh, densities. Uh, this stand here is pretty heavy. It's pretty thick. This is our ideal conditions. Uh, I would say what we're seeing here right now, uh, if we were at the other side where we have more residue where we planted later, uh, that rye is further behind. So I would wait a little more uh, to terminate if you're going after weed suppression, okay? So that's the main point. If you're going after weed suppression, you gotta let that rye produce as much biomass as possible and glyphosate is our uh, go-to strategy for termination. Uh, we've done two years of research, our group, uh, we looked at termination 15 days before soybean planting, at soybean planting, up to 15 days after soybean planting, and our you know, standard planting time has been mid-May, and even that late, you know, late terminated cereal rye, uh, when we took those plots to yield, we did not see a reduction. So the soybeans are quite resilient. If we let that rye grow, uh, we terminate it when it's at the boot stage or at the flowering stage, this is when you get the, the best in terms of weed suppression from that rye. Nice. Well, if you'd like to learn a little more about uh, termination and cover crops, I'm sure they folks would like to visit your website. Why don't you give them that link? Absolutely. Uh, Wistweeds.info. Uh, we have a recent blog post that we just put out on that topic. Uh, we'd like to invite folks to go and check it out. Wistweeds.info. All right. Thank you, Rodrigo. Thank you, Damon. <laughs>